Barack Obama's election in November has led a lot of us to want to hold on to our newspapers documenting the election and the inauguration. Unfortunately, newspapers aren't very stable, and trying to save them for our children and our grandchildren is pretty difficult. Hi, I'm Winston Adkins. I'm the preservation officer for the Duke University Libraries. And I'm here to talk with you today about some suggestions for storing newspapers. Most of us know how fragile newspapers are. We know that the paper can be really brittle and that their size makes them awkward and easily damaged. To store them safely, we want to do two things. First, we want to protect them from light and high temperature and humidity. I think we've all seen newspapers that have gotten yellowed from being outside in the sun. And high temperature and humidity can also make paper become brittle faster. Second, we want to keep them from getting damaged. That means we need to protect them, but we also need to support them. And so we're going to be using a box or heavy cardboard. A box is the simplest. You can get a box like this by searching the internet for archival boxes and newspaper. And you should only have to pay between about $15 and $30. You notice that this one has metal edges to protect them, and it's large enough to let the newspaper lie flat. Paper gets weak when it gets folded, and that problem only gets worse as it gets older. If you're unable to get a box, you can also use two pieces of mat board. You can get mat board at a store that does picture framing or at a craft store. And what we're going to do is place the newspaper between the mat board and then close it tightly by folding this alkaline photocopy sheet around the edge to protect the edge of the newspaper from the adhesive on the tape. Whether you use a box or a portfolio like this, you want to look for cardboard that is alkaline, buffered, and lignin free. It won't add acids to your newspaper and the buffering will help absorb any acids that come in from the environment and some that are in the newspaper itself. If you want to give the newspaper additional protection, you can put it in a, a folder first. paper folder like this one should also be alkaline, buffered, and lignin free. Or you can use a folder that's made out of polyester. If you get a polyester folder, you might want to put a sheet of alkaline, buffered, and lignin free paper behind the newspaper. Earlier, I said that you wanted to protect your newspaper from light, high temperature, and humidity and from getting damaged. Your box or portfolio will protect it from light and from physical damage, but it won't protect it from high temperature or humidity. To do that, you're going to have to find a good place to store it. That almost certainly means not in your attic or your basement. Attics are really hot, and basements are often humid. Humid basements mean moist paper, and moist paper almost always becomes moldy paper. Think of some place where you're comfortable, maybe even that feels cool and dry to you. And if you can, you should store it flat, possibly under a bed. That, that might be a good safe place as long as your cat doesn't use it as a scratching post. If you'd like further information about storing your personal collections, there's several good internet sources. And you can ask a librarian.